Drugs have long since penetrated every corner of society, even corroding our next generation as they spread through campuses. According to a National Health Research Institute survey, 23.1% of respondents say their first experience with drugs was in school. In today's report, we examine how drugs have infiltrated schools and the importance of an early anti-drug campaign. What seems like an innocent campus is actually infested with drugs as we find a student and learn more about the situation. He was a normal cigarette and they asked me to have a puff. I hesitated at the time, but then I did, and I soon became very dizzy, and I didn't know how it would make me feel. Peer pressure together with curiosity led 16-year-old Xiao Zhang to try ketamine, leading him to be drawn into a spiral of drug use. Before taking drugs, I was approached by people for about two years constantly asking me about it. This led me to be quite curious. I wonder what it was like and why so many of my friends were attracted to it. One thing led to another and he was soon sucked in, with Xiao Zhang spending some 6,000 U.S. dollars to buy drugs. Peers persuade us to take ketamine and we take MDMA when we are sad. It's not a family issue, but a breakup with someone. Regardless of the reason, drugs have a big impact on young people. According to the statistics from the Ministry of Education, the number of students who abused drugs was 294 in 2007, quadrupling in 2009, and breaking 2,000 for the first time in 2012. Even though it reached over 1,000 last year in 2016, most of them used class two and class three drugs. My friends have connection in addition to ketamine. I have seen some of the new drugs which have more beautiful packaging, but I haven't tried it because I'm afraid. Another person exposed to drugs was Chao Li, whose friend introduced him to new drugs. Two years ago, during summer vacation, he was in a KTV and everyone took ketamine with police coming in and taking everyone to the police station. After being caught, police precincts will inform the school's external affairs and school district administrators who then inform the Ministry of Education, which then seek out which students in which school. When these official documents are finally sent, it may take as long as one year before schools know if students are taking drugs. This confusion leads to little follow-up, as some schools have initiated weekly urine tests. The Ministry of Education gives us this test for amphetamine, MDMA and another secondary class drug in this urine test for miscellaneous students, so we test for three drugs at once. Xiao Zhang and Xiao Li are being closely tracked at the school, with the good news being that over the past two months their urine tests have been negative. Xiao Li also has more motivation in the form of his girlfriend's encouragement. At first, I noticed that some cases can be trumped, while others might be sleepy when they come home. After you understand their dating or friend situation, you can probably learn more about them. Parents and teachers need to be more vigilant for unusual behavior. Those using narcotics are getting younger and younger. As a National Health Research Institute finding that the average encounter with drugs is at 12.5 years of age. The Child Welfare League Foundation found that adolescents' attempt to use controlled drugs were followed by setbacks, poor family environment, relaxation, and curiosity. And for many people, the place where they have the first contact with drugs is on campus. <laughs> Liang Ming Yi has served as a director of school counseling. He has recently retired, and on the weekends and holidays, he serves as a drug counselor. He shares his family and students' exposure to drugs and encourages them to avoid drugs. The difficulty of blowing this balloon shows how ketamine can lead to atrophy of the bladder. This program is in cooperation between Zhiji and the Ministry of Justice. The lesson is part of anti-drug education using different types of games, real-life videos to educate the public about the dangers of drugs.
drug problem is complicated. Currently, programs are administered by the Ministry of Justice, Ministry of the Interior, the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Health and Welfare. Each group hopes the next generation won't grow up addicted. In the face of this war on drugs, lots of resources and vigilance will be needed.